Hi, Jamo. Talk me through it. I think these fans were waiting for that. Just talk me through that play and your first touchdown. Uh, it was a, a great experience. Uh, you know, we had a play if the re safeties, uh, they dropped down, so, you know, it was over the top. Were you surprised when you looked up and you were that alone? Yeah, kind of, but, you know, it was, it was how the play was designed up. If they do this, we're going to do that. If they do that, we do this. So it was one of those, if they did this, we did that. What does it mean for this team to get this win? In particular, you guys were four for four scoring in the second half on possessions. That's big time stuff. I think it was a big, it was a big W. Uh, you know, those guys, uh, we came out, we executed well. You know, you said four for four in the second half. That's when it really mattered. Uh, it was a close game going to the first half, one possession. So second half, we need to step up and do what we need to do. And we did that and came out with a W. Last one for me. What did it feel like to get that football in your hands in the game again? Oh, yeah, it felt good. Uh, it was just my first catch in the NFL. It was just something I was looking forward to for a long time. It was a long time coming, man. It was, it was good. Does it ever make you nervous to be that wide open? Like oh, no, I never I never get nervous. I never get nervous. Well, what has the support from this fan base meant to you? Even when you were oh, injured it, this place, I mean, it's crazy. I, I love it. Uh, they, treat me, they treat me very well. Like, I feel like. It's probably one of the best treatments I didn't got in a while. Like the we want J-Mo chance, the J-Mo chance, the just everybody going crazy. I touch the ball, get on the field, score. Like it's just electric, man. I love it. Describe your celebration, your lap. Uh, it was, I was just excited, man. I just handed the ball to my pops. Just, was just excited. I was excited to get everybody going, man. It was, that was that was the main thing. Thanks. I saw after the, the game you were talking to Jefferson. Yeah. What did you guys say? Uh, it was just a wide receiver link up, you know, keep going. He liked what I seen, I like what he seen. He went for 200 plus. Man, that was crazy. But it was just a, a wide receiver talk, you know. What's your thought? He's had multiple games, multiple touchdowns. How good is your quarterback? I, I like his game. I love his game, actually. He's a great quarterback. Uh, you see you see how well he, 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 he does in the offense. We, we've had a lot of great offensive games. Uh, I've stated that before. And I feel like the offense keeps this team going. Uh, with the defensive mixture, how they, how well they play, it's just it's just great how we how we combine that and then just get the wins. You believe that was your first catch? Uh, yeah, I could, but like I couldn't. I, I was expecting that. You know, my motto is like when I touch the ball, I'm trying to go to to the crib anytime, like no matter what route. So it just happened, and I, I was excited for it. Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. You, you guys have scored seven times, 30 points or more. And now that you're back in this offense, I mean, it seems semi unstoppable. Is that a crazy comment? Yeah, it's it's a great offense. You know, Coach Coach Johnson, he got the great offensive playing. You know, every day, every day in the week, we always working on making sure this is perfect or making sure that it's perfect, making sure we can do this so we can translate that to Sunday. And leading up in the week, you know, we just make sure things is perfect. And when it comes to the game, we just execute and then we do well on the offensive side of the ball. What were you thinking when you saw Sewell? Uh, that was great, man. Actually, he kind of caught that pass the same way in practice. So I wasn't really worried. I knew it was coming, you know. I knew he was going to get it. It was just the part where he got the stumbling. And the first, he got the first down, though, so that was good. Hey, when you walked into the end zone, what's going through your head at that moment? Or did you just black out? Man, it was just, I'm hurt, man. Like, you see, I had the hands out. I'm hurt. That was all. It's good, you know, we turned things around. We had a, a, a losing streak in the beginning, but those things are in the past. We turned things around. We had us a three game, four game winning streak. Now we're on a two game winning streak. Looking forward to playing the Jets next week. Yeah, man, we're just going out there, doing our thing, trusting the game plan. Um, there's not much else to it, man. We're all just clicking right now. Big plays, too, including Bugs forcing that fumble. I mean, looks like they're going to get in there to tie the game. That's such a huge swing, isn't it? You feel that on the field? Yeah, um, you know we give up we give up some yards, but we get to that red zone we're pretty stiff, and you know Bugs went out there made a play when we needed it. It's huge. And then when the offense is four for four scoring with possessions in the second half, that allows you a little more freedom defensively, takes some of the pressure off, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah. You know our, our offense is rolling right now. I mean everyone's clicking, so um, we're playing ball right now in December. So I. We're, we're, we're rolling. I don't know how much you were able to watch, but third and seven, <laughs> they worked Panay into the pattern, and he makes the catch. Just give me your thoughts as you saw that one unfold. I mean, I didn't miss that one. That was, I didn't think they were actually going to throw it, but um, man, he made a hell of a catch. Got the first down, sealed the game, man. It was great. Just thoughts on this crowd and what they were able to put together in this environment at Ford Field. Yeah, man, Detroit feels it. They feel we're coming along right now, and uh, you know we're going to make this playoff push at the end. 
and do everything we can to get in. And um, it takes one, one one game at a time. And but I think Detroit can feel it. Appreciate you. Yeah. Aiden, big picture. Um, this was a, a statement win by all means <laughs> against the best team in the division. How how important was this as you get a chance to breathe and, and see the locker room reaction? It's huge, Matt. I mean, I knew if we wanted to go to the playoffs, we got to damn near win out. And this was a, this is a must win kind of game, especially in the division. So we got our revenge. We we won the game, and you know we're looking forward to the Jets. I think. You said that this team is different from the last time you saw the Vikings. What does it say? about this team that you guys did win in the fashion that you did? You know, um, I mean, yeah, even going back, watching the film all week of, of when we played them week four or, or week three or whatever, um, man, I think from a defensive line perspective, myself personally, we're all getting older, we're getting more experience, and, um, you know, it's just schematic changes, but I don't know, I just felt like, I felt like this team, we're, we're, on, a, we're, we're on a new level right now. With comfort and confidence, how big of a difference does that make for you guys out there? It's huge, man. I was playing with so much confidence out there from literally the second play when I had gotten that TFL. I just, I was feeling so great during that whole game. Um, so that's, I just feel like I'm, I'm starting to hit my stride too um, individually, and I think that helps the team. So, yeah, we're feeling great. Tell, I'd pass out if I live with the enthusiasm that you show in like a single play out there. You know this, and not everyone does. Just you understand Detroit and what it means to be here. Dan Campbell just spoke on it about playing meaningful football at this time of the season. You know how special is that here? I mean, it's huge. You know, these Detroit fans—they've been—they've been waiting for for these kind of moments for for way too long. And you know, I feel like. I just feel like we're, we're becoming the team that, that, that Detroit has always wanted, you know, and we had the rough start to the season, but I mean, we're going to close this, this season out and see, see how far we can go. How yeah. much do you guys believe in each other on defense? I mean, so many guys made plays today. <laughs> I mean, it just goes to show the chemistry we got right now and everyone firing, everybody doing their job and just trusting the man across from you. And on a lighthearted note, I heard some of the offensive linemen just chuckling about the Jalen Rager guaranteeing a win this week. Did that make its way into your room, and, and did that play in your minds at all going into the week? I never, I didn't even hear that. He said that, when did he say that, earlier this week? Yeah, really? I don't know. Maybe he was feeling some type of way, but um, I don't know. Well, here we are now, <laughs> having won the game. You don't look great after that. <laughs> hey, uh, is this kind of like Revenge Tour 2.0? No, no Revenge Tour. No, I, I'm not. I was, I was a freshman in the Revenge Tour. I was young. I wasn't a part of it. Um, we're just, we're just here playing great football, and I got, we got no revenge. We're just a determined football team. Being all that against good opponents, or playing well against the Bills, but you're doing it kind of in daring ways, right? With the fake puns, with soul running emotion. I mean, yeah. People are talking about you guys like you're a cool team to watch. You know, you're a fun team. You guys were, you know, favored in this game against a two, 10 and 2 team. Yeah. What does it feel like to have that kind of respect that people, you said, you want people to put respect on your name? What does it feel to finally be getting that? Yeah, I mean, like I said, we've had to earn it. And, and we had dug ourselves in a hole to where, oh, yeah. you know, it was only up to us to be able to climb out of it. And uh, there's no other way to do that than to go out there and then play free and play fearless, play confident. And, um, We've been able to do it. We've been able to do it for, you know, six weeks now, um, and now we got you know four more to do it again, and see if we can sustain this because, you know, the if you want to be a, a good team, a playoff contention team, or whatever like that, you got to sustain success. And like I said, this has been a this has been awesome, but it's a small sample size, so we have to keep it going. In the first quarter, you guys had five penalties, right? And I don't. Dan talked a little bit about it. Maybe it was jitters or guys being a little too hyped or whatever it might have been for a big game, but now how do you guys maintain, after a big game like this against division rival, how do you maintain that focus the rest of the way against teams that aren't going to be necessarily as, I guess, potent or big games or whatever you want to call it? I mean, I, I think the margin for error is just super slim, and you can see it week in and week out that, you know, maybe there's a team that people think's at the top of the NFL and then they get beat by somebody. I mean, we put the Jags last week and they're coming off a win against Baltimore, and that's, a, you know, Baltimore's a a, a contender, um, so I don't think it'll be hard for that. I think, I think we just got a lot of professionals in here. We may be young, but I think guys are professional about their business, and they're going to take it one day at a time. And like I said, what what has got us this little win streak has been day-to-day -day work, 
um, keeping things into perspective, and uh, just kind of putting the work in every single day. What was it like to watch JMO take the roof off this place on his first snap of the game? A guy we've been waiting to see all season, obviously. I, I didn't even know he was in the game, honestly. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to be honest. We're getting trying to get the personnel from Hank and stuff like that. And, uh, I mean, it just it just shows he can take the top off of defense, which is dangerous for us. And uh, I think we had a couple guys like that. So, I mean, that was his first reception, career reception. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's big. I hope, he kept, I hope he kept the ball, too, like tonight. I hope he kept it. Yeah. If you have a guy that changes on you, you can't really put your trust in him. But, you know, we know what we're going to get, win or lose. Uh, and the same with the team. You know, I feel like they know what they're going to get when they come into work, win or lose. So we just come in and continue to uh, stack the days. You know, we talk about what's been happening with this team, both you, Jason. You guys are big threats. Today, we got an example, an example size of what you guys can do. Are we going to see more of that? For sure. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, every time we come out there, uh, Ben put us in good positions to uh, make plays. JG, you know, has been playing very well. Uh, we can't forget about, you know, Saint uh, taking over the middle of the field for us and all those things, big time plays when we needed the most uh, work hard. So, you know, as long as we just try to make sure we do our job, don't try to do anybody else's job, I think we come out fine. DJ, I'm curious, your scouting report on your new deep threat, uh, Pace Wolf. His hands, his feet. JG really threw him a real legit ball, you know, <laughs> and he caught that. Uh, he's an athlete, uh, oh, and I'm happy because, you know, yeah. one of the things that we struggle with is that four minute putting the game away, and that was big for us. What do you mean to get those big chunk plays, long touchdowns that you guys got today for an offense? Oh, it's great. It's something that, you know, that's really part of our offense. Uh, it's good to be getting people back healthy to be able to go out there and do that. But, you know, as long as we keep making plays and uh, JG keep throwing it, and, you know, I don't see why it doesn't continue. What does it mean to you to be healthy and able to do all the things you want to do out there? Uh, you know, it's great. I just take it one day at a time, going out there and enjoying being with this team, uh, trying not to get too far ahead of myself and make plays whenever my number is called. And it's been working out, you know, but at the end of the day, just happy to be out there. What does it mean for this team? That's five out of six now, and that's a big win against the division leader. Uh, I mean, it's great. You know, like you always say, we are celebrated today, but we understand that the season doesn't end today. We got uh, some big games coming up for us, and, you know, biggest thing for us is just showing, you know, who we are. Um, blocking out the outside noise, you know, because it goes up and down, up and down. It's a long season, but right now we're feeling good. We're playing well and continue that. Jameson's touchdown, what did you see on that? Did you kind of know what the route was? Did you know there was a shot that, that he was going to get it? Yeah, uh, that coverage that they had, safety, backside safety, came down, took away another route, uh, left him. Usually, you know, it's not as wide open, but that was super wide open and with his speed and JG just had to, you know, side on it if he wanted to. But a uh, big time play for uh, both of those guys, and we needed that. Would you do the celebration run around the field after you caught that? Uh, you know, hey, do what you do what you got to do. You know, whatever. That's a big moment. You know, definitely for him as a Ricky who missed so much. You know, and finally getting to play. Uh, that's a big moment. So, you know, handle your business. Oh, he's playing great. You know, I feel like this offense is really uh, tailored to him, his strengths. And, you know, good job by the line to go get guys that fit those strengths, you know, that help him out at, you know, a receiver. And O-line is playing great, keeping him. He's able to sit in there. He's very smart. Uh, I think he's it's underrated how smart he is. Like So he sees the defense beforehand. We kind of know what we're planning on getting there. You know, just keep it keep it going. You know, uh, I got an idea of the ball coming. Just make the plays. And I think at this point, we're all comfortable with each other. So it makes it uh, a little easier. On the way to our line, we knew right then that we were able to get it. Uh, even though the down and distance was kind of far, but um, we had the look that we wanted, so we just went for it. Have you ever played football with that kind of confidence before? Like, what is that like? 
uh, man, around, being around guys like this, you, you ha got to have that type of confidence. And, uh, and Coach, ha the, having, them having the confidence in us, it makes you go. Uh, we covered it with these guys, but the blocking you got, you know, on the way down the sideline. Maybe you just share a little bit about Oh, for sure. Uh, Cabinda uh, gave a great kickout block on the corner who saw the play coming before we even really got started. Um, and Rodrigo leading up and everybody just kind of, you know, doing what they got to do and executing so we can uh, cut the ball up and get vertical. CJ, I'm just curious, when was the last time you led a team in rushing? <laughs> Never. <laughs> <laughs> Never. And that was a weird, funny stat that somebody yeah. told me after the yeah. game, but uh, it was pretty cool. Yeah. Little yeah. League? Not even Little League? Nothing like that? Nah, not even Little League. Not even Little League. Yeah. Wow. No. <laughs> what does it say? I ask a couple guys this. What does it say about your coach that, you know, he's willing to call a play like that? Big stage, big game, deep in your own territory. Not just that one. Panay at the end. Like, he yeah. takes some risks. He Man. trusts you guys. What does it say about Gutsy. And it just shows how much confidence he has in us. And uh, when he when the call came in, I'm like, fourth and eight, fourth and seven. All right, let's go. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it just shows how, how Gus he is and how much he believes in us. So we're appreciative of that. You were surprised a little bit? A very little surprised, bit? Yeah. very surprised. Not a lot, a lot, okay. Yeah. It's pretty wide open, though. Yeah, um, for a little bit, but the guys really executed and yeah. made it look open. Yeah. Uh, the corner yeah. came in, and that's the look you don't want. But yeah. Cabena gave a great kickout block, and yeah. I was able to turn it up, cut it up, and get vertical. When that call comes in, do you have to remind yourself to settle down, not to give it away to anybody else? For sure. Stay poised. I get in the huddle to ask the guys they're ready. Everybody say, hell yeah, <laughs> we go for it. How conscious are you of, of your body language that you don't give away to the defense that something might be different? We practice, you know, this type of stuff um, and throughout the week, all, all week. So uh, we get used to just staying paused and trying to make everything look the same. Big picture, what does a win like this mean? I mean, it was a big stage, right? A lot of hype about this game. You guys came out and delivered, didn't trail. Man, a team that, you know, you thought you were better than. It literally means a lot because we felt like we owed that team. 